What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ray, man. I'm about to be showing y'all how to set up your Shopify backend, basically the policies, shipping, markets, A to Z, all, all, all that mumbo jumbos. Okay, boom. Now we're now we, now we all here. Now we all here. Let's go all the way up. By the way, these modules can be found in the Discord. That's going to be linked in the bio so y'all can just get access to them. It's all free. But yeah, module one is settings. So basically, just how to set up the backend settings properly. You do this before you even get into making your website. So, boom. What you want to do is is hop on your Shopify so make sure you got your Shopify open so what I got right here is setting up the actual payment so PayPal is known to hold a lot of money and you know we don't want that happening so what we do is go right here see see the settings bottom bottom left I believe my bad I might be a little dyslexic at that thing that's my left <laughs> yeah that's my left so you just click settings right here you go to uh, what do we call uh, payments click that and make sure paypal is deactivated all you really got to do is navigate to payments right here top uh left and just deactivate paypal man that's literally it you don't got to do too much then it's just a quick video by the way so boom once that's done <clears throat> the next step is shipping and delivery now is where a lot of people mess up now you gotta stop thinking about profits you gotta stop being like i just want a profit is that they can pay for shipping you're not gonna get anywhere you gotta make sure you're doing free shipping one thing i've learned just doing this learning is people love free shit so you gotta give them you gotta give them free shit so free shipping all you really have to do is just increase the price of whatever your items are by 10 to 15 dollars trust me it's way better it's gonna benefit you in the so yeah all you really have to do is scroll to shipping and delivery click right there you just scroll to united states i'll just show you guys how to create a zone all you do is click create zone whatever country you're in we're running ads in the u.s mainly we have international and uh what do we call canada active but we're not running any ads there currently so it's cool to keep it on you just keep normal international prices on for that but all you do is just search up united states make the zone once you have the zone all you do is click add rate click set up your own rates click on custom what i like to do i already have it set but you just search up uh, truck emoji put an emoji and just put free shipping that's it that's literally it so simple so straight to the point there's no complicated bs in that Boom. once that is done it, it now comes your markets bro now this is where a lot of people mess up your markets what I've noticed with a lot of stores is the international markets do not come active offering. You gotta make sure your international markets are active. So it's very simple, very straight to the point. All you gotta do is click there, <clears throat> go to your markets. See so on your markets, you gotta, you just click on international. And you just gotta active it. Most people don't have it active, make sure it's active. If it's not active, you're missing out on a lot of sales. So boom, there's that. After your international markets are set up, last but not least in terms of settings is your policies. Policies are important or else Shopify is going to come to you and I'm just going to show you what Shopify is going to do. You don't got any shipping policy. Now the policy set up on your Shopify. This is what Shopify is going to do. They're going to come. Boop, 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 boop. That's what they're going to do to you. Make sure you got your policy set up, bro. If your policies are not set up, like I showed you, Shopify comes. Boop, 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 or come. <laughs> Boom. This is how you set up your policies. All you really got to do is go down the policies. So simple, so straight to the point, but people still, you know, get lazy. But you could go on ChatGPT, ask it to rewrite the policy with your email in it. And that is literally it. Rewrite all your policies, your contact. I mean, your privacy, your terms of service, your shipping, and then your contact information. Make sure it's filled out. So essentially, if you look at the module, I already gave you guys a copy paste uh, return and refund policy it's like a bulletproof policy we like to use it's, it goes hard it goes crazy but it's, pre, it's very simple it's very straight to the point chat gpt is your best friend when it comes to writing any type of policy you just explain to it this is what i like for my policy blah 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 it'll, it'll write it for you it'll literally write it for you but yeah man that's that's, that's what i would tell y'all i think uh that should be it for this video it's just a quick little quick set of video y'all don't gotta do too much it's just hop in do what's necessary make the edits and just just do it bro just make sure everything's set up so shopify don't come in so this is what i would say 
make sure you got your backend set up properly make sure you go through the pdf properly and make sure you join the discord it's link in the bio it has all the pdfs all the game you need i'm not here to sell anything you could literally sit down go through the pdfs take your notes and just do what you got to do because this information should be out there for free anyways that's it for another cool video man it's your boy ray clock out now man y'all do your thing bro remember stop boosting posts if you boost posts you have a vagina